All right, what we're going to do is try and use a spreadsheet to simulate flipping a coin twice and seeing what we get. So here's flip one as a number. Now, it's going to be a heads or a tails. We know that. But we're going to make the computer randomly pick either zero or one and then assign zero to heads and one to tails. So to make it pick a random number of zero to one, we're just going to say equals ran between and then I'm going to say 0 comma 1. That will give us a random number between 0 and 1. And there it picked 1. We're going to do the same thing here again equals rand rand between 0 1. Now notice each time you hit enter it's going to redo that because it's a formula. So it's going to keep changing each time. Now Flip one here, what I want to do now is say, hey, if that's a zero in that flip one, let's change it to an H for heads. If it's not, make it a tail. So we're going to say equals if this cell right here, if that equals a zero, what do we want? Well, we're going to put an H for heads. Well, what if it isn't a zero? Well, the only other option is a one. And we're going to then say, okay, well, we'll call it a tail. We hit enter and see. It looked over. It saw zero, so it assigned it an H. We're going to do the same thing here again. Equals if, this time for flip two, if that cell equals zero, comma, what do we want it to say? H for heads. And if not, T for tails. And there we go. Both are zeros. Now what I want to do here is I want to write as a combined flip. I want it so here we have heads heads. So I want it to say HH. We can use a concatenate function or it's just as easy in this situation with two things to say equals cell D2 use your ampersand E2. So it's going to put those two together. And there it is, HT. And again, notice it changed because each time I hit it, it's changing these values here. So it's going to change on us for a little bit. Don't worry about that. Now I've come over here to outcomes. Well, the possibilities we have were heads, heads. We're going to do, as I said on the sheet, tails, tails. The other option would be heads, then tails. And finally, maybe a tails on the first and heads on the second. And what we want to do is now we're going to make this count roll it a hundred times. And we want to count up how many times does this HH occur. So we're going to come here, we're going to type equals count if, because we're going to be counting, count if all these cells here, G2, all the way down, we want to go a hundred times. So we'll say from G2 all the way down to G101. That'll be a hundred times. That's the cells we want it to count. Now, we want it to count if that is an HH. That's what we're going to be counting, which is in cell I2. Close my parentheses. You'll see it's a zero. Now, I want to do the same thing because what it did is it's counted from G2 all the way down, it sees a TH, doesn't see an HH. So we want to do the same formula here. It's going to be the exact same. So I'm going to go ahead and type it for us. So equals count if we want what? We want all these cells right here, G2 down. So we want it from G2 all the way to G101. And we want to say, hey, does that TT occur? Close it. We'll do the same thing here. Equals count if. We want to know, again, G2 through G101. Does it equal this cell here? You'll notice it does that time because right here it's an HT. Right there's HT, so it counted it. One more time. Count if G2 
through G101, does it equal this TH? Now, what we need to do, and again it changed, notice it's a TH there. We need to go ahead and fill down all the way from 2 all the way down to 101. So I'm going to click right here because I want it to fill down, I want it to fill down, I want those to fill down, I want that to fill down. And we're going to scroll all the way down to 101. That way it'll do it exactly 100 times and that way we can think of it as a percent since it's out of 100. So we're going to go right here to 101. I'm going to let go and then I'm just going to hit Control D for fill down. If we now come back up to the top You'll notice here it is. It counted. Here are all the combined flips of what occurred, and it counted. We got heads, heads 24 times, tails, tails 29, heads, tails 29, and tails, heads was the least at 18. Notice that if I come in the cell right here and I just hit anything, just a space bar and hit return, it recalculates them. I can hit a space bar again, return, does it again. Space bar hit return, does it again. Or I can enter a number, hit return, it calculates it again. So we can make it calculate it over and over and over again and get a lot of different results very quickly.